Ja, herzlich willkommen, liebe Zuschauer da draußen, der gepflegten rechten Gasland. Euer Perry hier mit einer neuen Ausgabe der Partner und Sponsoren der IDM. Ihr könnt es schon äh, lautstark hier draußen vernehmen. Wir sind in Assen in der Cathedral of Speed ja, zum vierten Rennen. Und ähm, wir wollen heute über die Marke ETS sprechen. Ihr seht schon, wir sitzen auf diesen wunderbaren Kanistern. Hier ist der ja, Superbike-eigene Sprit drin. Jedes Team muss diesen Sprit auch im Vorwege kaufen. Und was diesen Sprit so besonders macht, das wird uns hier Eduardo Ferranini neben mir beantworten. Der ist von der Marke ETS immer bei den Rennen dabei. Hallo Eduardo. Hallo. Nice to see you here. How are you doing? Great, great. Very happy to be here in the Aston circuit and with the IDM Paddock. That's great. Fantastic. Exactly. So uh, what I said to our audience already, you're a new partner in the IDM. Uh, you are already um, worldwide active. So that means you're delivering also the VSPK, MotoGP, also the MXGP. And so you have a lot of experience concerning uh, special fuel uh, worldwide. Yes, yes. As ETS, we are, we are we are, our expertise is to produce high-hand racing fuel, very quick to burn, lot of energy. And uh, yeah, we are, we are now happy to work with the IDM, providing them a reliable 102 for the race. This is also what brings me to the question, you already replied a little bit. Um, what makes this fuel so special um, in compared to other fuels? Yeah, well, in comparison to other fuel, we take uh, we do not take some regular pump fuel and put additives on it. We take the pure hydrocarbons, blend it together, and that's how we produce the fuel. Thus, we have a much quicker combustion, much cleaner combustion without any carbon residual inside, and we are working to always improve also for the green aspect of the fuel. Brilliant. So that means all the riders actually and all the teams are having a really uh, light burning fuel, gives them a lot more energy, a lot more power and uh, everybody has the same fuel at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Especially here for the IDM we had uh, a special fuel that is named IDM 102 and it's uh, specifically designed to be consistent. So uh, during the championship is the performance are consistent and uh, are, yeah, the performance are consistent yeah. and uh, everyone is using the same fuel and make the competition fair for everyone. What about the pricing? If you talk about such a fuel, what is really combined uh, in a special manner and uh, to perform that high, is it uh, much more expensive than uh, normal fuel? Well, uh, this 102 is not such more expensive than uh, normal fuel, but we are talking about three, four times more. Yeah. Uh, but for the high-hand racing fuels, as much racer already knows, it, uh, usually is mm, way more expensive than regular pump fuel. But uh, pump fuel is designed to be very, very cheap, as cheap as possible. Racing fuel is designed to be most performing, uh, as performing as possible. So that means, in general, is spoken is um, the fuel the IDM is using here, the 102. Yeah. That 102 stands also for 102 octane, right? Correct. So that means this is a much more performance fuel. But at the end, it's it's just a niche product. What you deliver to the IDM as a new partner, and you're also capable to produce um, a little bit more high performance fuel. Let's say, especially for the MotoGP or VSPK teams, right? Yes. Yes, yes, correct. This is one of, uh, let's say, I would call it uh, not a simple product, but a reliable product. It's designed to be consistent, basically. While the fuel we deliver in, uh, for our World Superbike partners or for MotoGP or uh, so on, it's designed to be performing no matter what. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, prototypes everywhere, and so that means it, it needs a special performance at all. Uh. Yes, yes, sure. Also, uh, some different sports may have different regulation. For instance, for the MXGP, we have a few that is very successful. But for the uh, AMA series in uh, US motocross or supercross, the, the regulation, of course, is different. So we need to produce a completely different fuel. My last question to you is, uh, can everybody, can the customer outside, the clients, can they just buy it everywhere? Yes, sure. They can also buy on our website. We are implementing our website with an online platform, so customers from all over, all over the world can purchase directly on the website uh, the fuel. But in the meanwhile, uh, we have a wide uh, network of distributors they can rely on. 
Thank you very much, uh, Eduardo. It was really nice to have you here. Also, Italy was presented here. Yes. And thanks for all these information. Um, I will just give the uh, audience outside a quick a resume of, of our talk. So see you uh, in a few minutes outside or whatever, right? Sure. Perfect. Ja, liebe Freunde, ihr habt es gehört, ETS, Partner der IDM mit einem speziellen äh, Sprit, der hier äh, sozusagen von den Superbikes 1000 hier genutzt werden muss. Das bedeutet, man setzt hier auf Einheitlichkeit, keiner hat hier ein besonderes ähm, ja, Aggregat, äh, was er benutzt oder was die Teams benutzen dürfen. Und am Ende des Tages ähm, ja, muss jeder damit zurechtkommen. Es ist ein sehr, sehr hochwertiges ähm, Benzingemisch und äh, damit äh, etwas, was hier in einer Nische auftritt, aber natürlich auch weltweit genutzt werden kann in der MotoGP, WSPK und dort natürlich auch die ganzen Prototypen auch ähm, mit speziellen Additiven auch versorgen zu können. Das von unserer Seite hier. Ich hoffe, es war informativ und wir sehen uns auch schon bald. Bis dann.